Hey y'all. <coughs> Got it. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are going to be watching the Artful Dodger episode two and episode three. I'm super excited to get into this from the get-go. Like from the first episode, I was already sucked in and now I just want to know what's going to happen. And there's only eight episodes, which makes me really scared that they're going to like jam pack a bunch of stuff into these episodes and like mentally play with you a little bit. Before we get into this video though, I would love to remind you guys that we're currently on a goal of trying to hit a thousand subscribers because when we do, I have a really fun and exciting video that's ready to come out, but I cannot put it out until you guys hit that subscribe girl. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, also give this video a like. I'm, I'm watching you. Oh, another surgery. A bunch of blurring. I'm gonna have to do an editing. Oh, is this the Captain Grimm guy that we're gonna learn more about? Go ahead. Learning more about Jack's past. Mother never taught you to suck. Never had one, sir. Never had a mother. <laughs> He's learning from all you, you men, how to live. Hold his hand. See into the next life. Yeah, that's so rough when you think about it. Cause back then they didn't have they didn't have the knowledge that you can work past this. There's so much you can do to save a life. But they just had to accept it and be there for that person, which is rough. That's rough knowing that you can't do anything. All right, that was an intense start, but I'm excited. Oh, we're running again. <laughs> where 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 do we gotta go? He almost fell! I think he, he's got himself. <laughs> Look at his face. Is he running from bounty hunters? I don't understand. And why don't they just look up? <laughs> Belle! Lady Belle. And women aren't allowed, ma'am. She's like, you think I care? Thanks, bye. <laughs> Such a stupid rule women aren't allowed. Half of the surgeons on Grey's Anatomy are amazing, talented, intellectual women. <laughs> Actually, the best one of them all who I would trust my life with is Christina Yang, so. Take his right hand. Take his right hand, no! What do you think, young Nathaniel? Do you think we can trust him? Do we like this kid? <laughs> what a backstabbing little kid. I'll allow you the latitude of Wednesday. You pay me in full by then, or this? Ew. I know it's fake, but it's gross. I buy a van. That's an evil little child. The working on amputee hands and stuff. You might sit an orange eater, Dodge. I love oranges. You haven't set yourself up as a man of standing rather than what you're born to. Wait, so they're trying to sell off the rubies, but it's not working? I'm relying on you. I trust that he'll figure it out, hopefully. I mean, he got us in this mess in the first place. Eh, I was gonna say he got us fully in this mess, but he didn't fully get us in this mess because if Dodge didn't agree to it, we wouldn't be here right now. Girl just wants to be a surgeon, bro. Let her be a goddamn surgeon. Perhaps you want to get that while you can still relish the sensation of a doorknob between your fingertips. <laughs> yeah, real funny, man. That was more criminal than any of the crimes that they have done. Because when you take an orange, you peel it piece by piece and you eat it. You don't eat it like a freaking apple. Just when you think your day's reached its full potential. Lady Bell. I've come here to train. Horses. <laughs> she is wearing a horse's training uniform. No, I'm not. Here to train as a nurse. She's here to be a surgeon. That was never the deal. Was yes, it was the deal. She word for word said. Women cannot make surgeons. Of course you can. She does have both hands. They are society's rules. Break them. Did you miss the part where I said I was the governor's daughter? True. She does have, she definitely does have some pull. You start where everyone else starts. All right, let's start where everyone else starts. <coughs> Why is she coughing? Why is she like suffering? Ooh, girl, that's nasty. She had to clean up the person's... You take human excrement from sick people and, and dump it outside the door. Has no one here heard of, of cleanliness? Germs, diseases, sicknesses. Now, I agree with you. The ward is less than savory, but that is how the prof likes it. Oh, the professor's a giant windy pop in an overcoat. Windy pop in an overcoat. I like those who said that. <laughs> Thank you for the honor of your visit. He has to honor what he said. Otherwise, she will just turn him in. And yes, some other clothes. All right, she caved a little bit. I mean, maybe it's also her goal to make this place a little better, which I would respect a lot if she did that. Hello, little sheep. Let's call him Edward. Was that even a sheep? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a sheep. Wastrels and I am meant to save them. Yes, you. You are meant to save them, you random man. Look at this hair, girl. I have hair shedding issues. <laughs> Literally anywhere I go, anywhere I step, you're gonna find my hair somewhere. You can no more shift that lot than become the Lord of the Islands. So she knows of the rubies? Yeah, you're gonna have a hard time selling those. And no one round here wants fine jewelry. Jewelry. Jewelry or jewelry? 
Does it really matter? Shovels, coins, snitch me something they can use. So she wants him to steal something that's actually useful to them, not just rubies that everyone knows belongs to the Darius's wife. Because like, no one can sell that. If you even if you buy it from a stealer, you can't sell it yourself because everyone knows who it belongs to. And what would Mum have us do with these sheets? Burn them. She's doing a really good job. And I think he's admiring it a little bit, but he's hiding it. I really hope they end up together. I don't know why I said it like this, but I really hope they do, because I, li I like them. <laughs> Saints and bones, just destitute criminals. What are they talking about? Your money is with the Protestants. Huh? I feel like I should listen. I don't know if that was important or not. Should I listen to that again? You can marry if you do. Yes, there's a downside to everything. Okay, I, I still don't really understand what they were saying there. It just went in one ear out the other. <laughs> I tried to understand that. He will turn everything you've done in there back to exactly the way it was. And for a few days, at least some of the people in there might survive. Yeah, so she cares about the people surviving. But the thing is though, I kind of understand him because he does have a point in the fact that he knows what he's talking about. He worked with this guy. He knows that this guy only cares about the blood and the honor and the badges and who knows what, whatever. And he doesn't care about cleanliness and all that. But I feel like if you give up the fight, of course he's not gonna care anymore. I feel like she won't give up the fight. Eventually he will have to care. There just isn't a choice there really. You'll need a map of the human body. Fun. So from the helix to the cranium. Damn, she used the proper words and made you look like a dumbass. Esophagus, lungs, heart, liver. She just schooled you. It isn't about the names. You just said it was. <laughs> Looking into the face of a child, knowing they're going to die and knowing that there is nothing you can do to help them. There's so much you could do to help them. There are more things to medicine than death. Yep, a lot more you have to learn. It's really much better to be a common thief with your uncle. <laughs> I like her, she's cool. Except last time I got cheated and now if I don't come up with a year's worth of income, then I get my hand cut off. So that's why Fagan stole the gems. I feel like she's, she has to understand that. She has to understand what he's been through and also I respect, I don't respect that he's a thief, but what he's after what he's been through, I can respect him for where he's at right now. If that makes any sense at all. I, I don't even know what I'm fully saying. <laughs> Jack. I've got a sailor who drank some whitewash. What's whitewash? Mix him up in a mess it and give him that bucket when you've emptied it. Oh, he's gonna have to puke it all up. It's like paint or something that he drank for some goddamn reason. I mean, as a man on a journey of faith, whether I could talk to you. What is he doing? Do you think this is the right time to ask, do you? <laughs> yeah, while well, she's throwing away organs. <laughs> or not organs, body body parts, organs, same difference. Coccyx. Yeah. It's part of a woman. Yeah, what? Well, uh... Don't bow to women. We Let me bow to us. I don't see a woman cry and lift this over her head. <laughs> oh, they're being so annoying and obnoxious. Is she having a heart attack or something? We have here is a strangulated hernia. Oh, a hernia? I shall massage the tuberance back into place. Massage it? What has happened here? She cleaned up. Lady Bell. My father sent me to observe. Ha. <laughs> Ha! Get put in your place, sir. The one in every six of my patients goes on to live a very full life. One in every six is such a low, yeah, very, very low numbers. Prepare the surgical room. She's gotta do something about this, right? What you have before you is a classically- I hate that he always sounds so wasted. It's so annoying. Like the fact that this is just fully allowed. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Just shows the difference in timing, but I hope, I hope she'll say something. What are you doing? He's prying. I don't know why, but he is. I was overcome with religious zeal. What? Hello. Sorry to put him in touch there. This is so uncomfortable. I place the tool gently. What is going on? That looked traumatizingly painful. <laughs> Poor guy. As you see, I do like to bless each church that I visit. Oh my God, is he trying to lie to the religious guy that his rubies are like a, rel a symbol of some sort of relic to try and get them sold? He will die if you don't do something, won't he? He'll die anyway. Ether. <laughs> Where God would bestow upon me a great blessing. Oh, he made it into that. Is this real? Smart, I hope, I hope, because if she finds it somehow and she'll know it's her rubies. The, the bone. Who does that belong to? A martyred saint. It's a random woman's butt. But I can see that you're closing up. Oh, so... no, 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 stay, stay. He fooled you. You got fooled, bro. And now here she is with the ether. But the thing is, how could she show? Oh. Yeah. I wasn't thinking of the patient. Yeah. She's going to ether the surgeon. Here. Yeah. Okay, this is really interesting. And I knew she would do something, and I love that she did. Just a moment. 
Oh, her chest problems. Did he even figure out what it was? Because he listened to her breathing, but he didn't say anything. Are we ever gonna find out what's wrong with her? Is it like something bad, like cancer or something? Did he just take a limb and just go? <laughs> this is so cool. Are they gonna have to give the credit to him? What did I just say? Did I say credit or did I say credit? I don't know what I just said because I was listening to what they were saying and I spoke at the same time. I have almost no memory of how I achieved it. You were exhausted at the end. Lying to the guy and having to give him all the credit? Yeah, that's... It's something. I get that it's annoying, but at least I get to do what they want to do, so... I doubt what we did in there has ever been done before. Which is so cool. You were very good. I can imagine the high he must be feeling right now. Mind you, a good surgeon doesn't get dizzy over the sight of blood. It's not dizzy, she can't breathe. You did very well. Thank you, we know. <laughs> what we did today was extraordinary. Yes, it was, and it was all thanks to her. He's thinking, what do we, what do we have to think about? I'll think with you. I have access to some bees and honey. What? I thought he sold the rubies. Well, that depends on the scratchings in the Sunday collection plate. I don't understand what's going on. And the mix, they don't have any cash. They're all ex-cons. I don't know what you expected. I don't know what you expected. I saved a man's life today. Oh, yes. That is so much better than any sort of thieving. There is a whole world opening up for me. What was, what word was I looking for? Thieving experience? Thieving situation? Thieving occurring? <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Thicker than blood. Yeah, well, you burnt that when you left me rotting in Newgate. Bro, he didn't leave you rotting. He thought that you died. We both equal hating. Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist is a wet lettuce. That is such a good insult. I'm going to start using that. I don't like you. You're a wet lettuce. You'd stand by again and watch as I go down. Ooh. I heard the robin's love. He's doing it again. But twas in jest a canine. Yeah, I'm exactly like that, man. I'm just like, what, huh? He must be moist with anticipation. I don't like the way she phrased that. Moist with anticipation. Ew. You think father would mind awfully me using the hunting rifle in the house? First, <laughs> Lita and the swan. They're just reenacting a painting in real life. There's blood on your shoe. Are you well, my dear? She's more than well. Extraordinary. Dude, I'm so happy for her and him. Although, if I were her, I would maybe lend him the money so that he doesn't get his freaking hand chopped off. Maybe, just maybe. Go back to sleep. That's so sad. Why is he sleeping on the stairs? <laughs> we must turn inside ourselves and find- What is he thinking about? Is he thinking about the fact that he just needs the money? Because I feel like my idea actually made sense that Lady Bell could probably help him until he can pay her back. Especially if he's the only man taking her seriously and helping her perform surgery. <laughs> I feel like she could do that. <laughs> Yeah, you just kissed a woman's bone, but what is it, cockex? I see the way men look at my sweet Peggy. Bro, she's cheating on you. Wring their necks until their eyes pop. I wish you only knew what she was doing, but oh my god, it's him. And now I must leave my innocent rose for three days. Why are you leaving for three days? Do you have the money, yes or no? Yes, I do. How does he have the money? Good. He wants to go into her house. No, 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 hear me out, hear me out. He wants to go into there and steal the money. Came to the military quarters, slip past a guard or two. That is the stupidest idea ever. Don't, don't agree to it. And that will be my last meal. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for using your brain. Your little brain's being used. For three days, I've got it all planned out. Solid copper bottom. He's trying to grow and you're pulling him back. You used to positively squeal with delight after a high school. I did not squeal. I like that that's the one thing that he cared about. He's like, okay, all that may be true, but I do not squeal. <laughs> Strong stuff, this clears you right out. He's gonna use that on the guards, so they're gonna be stuck in the bathroom. It's gonna be like a, what is it called? Laxative? <laughs> I won't drink up less. It's so annoying that he agreed to it. Oh, I don't want him, I really don't want them to get in trouble. Oh, they're puking. That's even more fucked. What the hell? That's like my biggest fear. <laughs> One of my biggest fears. I wondered if you could be of assistance. Can he come straight through? I feel like, okay, yeah, he's gonna get in, but they're gonna remember his face. Unless they are purely just focused on the fact that he's going to be the doctor. You give them just a cup or two. You're only supposed to give him a teaspoon. You're only supposed to give them a teaspoon and he gave them a full cup or two? Couldn't that possibly, like... You know? If they're not getting enough fluids, they'll just get dehydrated. 
Whose shoes are those? They're hiding in a room while the soldiers are about to find them, but he, Jack, just saw shoes, which means someone hi someone's hiding with them. Who is that? Touch. Oh my god, what if it's secretly Lady Bell for some reason, but I have no idea why she would sneak into their house. There's not really a logical reason for that. Bloody Jurek Jensen. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, the fact that it's open wide should be a huge, huge red flag. Everything already got stolen, and it was the person hiding. No one had it before us. Scarpa. Oh no, they're stuck. Oh my god, oh my god, they're hiding underneath the bed. That is traumatizing, whatever they're about to hear. Ooh, no. Oh my god, it's him. She's just a cheater with everybody. I'm gonna save you guys from hearing or seeing any of this. Oh my god, that's traumatizing. <laughs> that is amazing. That's so fucked up. I don't know if I would risk sneaking out while they're right there sleeping. At least me, I'm a very light sleeper. I like wake up from anything. So it depends if they're heavy sleepers, then yeah, make a break for it. Oh, okay, with this, with this man, with Fagin, I feel like he'll, he'll knock something over. Okay, so they managed to escape and he stole another like gadget, ju jewelry thing, whatever. Where's the fog? Where's the constant drizzle? True. London is all is always it's known to be super rainy. Suppose this watch ought to be worth a penny or two. That's so stupid. They're not in London, aren't they? In Australia? <laughs> Almost. But at least he's trying. Darius doesn't have an artificial hand. Strange that. He wanted an artificial hand when he has both his hands. Tim. Show us exactly how this apparatus works. Okay, they understood something there that I didn't, but I feel like I, I'll pick up on whatever they were trying to say eventually. You know what I might have to do to him in the future? What I might have to do to him in the future? Why do you have to do anything? Watch over him. How about you watch over him and don't, don't, how about you don't do anything backstabbing him in the future? Because that sort of sounded like you were insinuating a little bit. I'm starting to like Fagin, so I don't want him to do this. Why is he stealing musical paper? from the church. What is musical paper gonna help you with? Yeah, as long as we move quickly, we should be fine. Hospital bandage and organ music? Oh, well. Are they trying to use the musical paper sheets to look like money? Wouldn't he eventually open it and realize it's not money? Fine, if you're scared, take the money, we're square. Scared. So here's the thing. He is basically using this fake money, this musical note money to pretend that it is the money that he owes and he's basically saying here take this money but i'll also give you double that if we play another game of poker and if i win winner like if i win i take it off you win you takes it off and then the guy is like nah i'm good just give me the money and then he's like oh you're scared so now they're like playing on his ego so that he could play the game and get away with it which might actually be smart unless he cheats again so it's like double the money and if he loses you take both his hands. Fagin, shut up. You wouldn't be able to wipe your own ass. What? <laughs> what? Why is that the first thing you think of? There's so many other things you wouldn't be able to do. Are we talking or are we playing? This is scary because he could win, but if he's a cheater, he's going to lose. May the last use of my hand be to shake your... Why is he wanting to shake his hand so bad? <coughs> Did he just steal the, that was so smart. He just shook his hand to steal the card that he was gonna use to uh, cheat. Nice. You're gonna lose, buddy. You cheated. I'm not wearing a coat. I have nothing up my sleeves. Perhaps you should take off yours. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. I love that they're actually doing this and succeeding. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's go! He first of all, he got rid of the extra payment that he owed without any real money. Okay! I'm actually happy they did that. It's over. And Lady Bell didn't have to give any money to him to like save him. So here we are, a team again, father and son. A <laughs> father and son. That was my last caper. Now I am back to being a surgeon. Yeah, he paid off the debt that he owed and I don't think he wants to get into any more debts or any more trouble. Nothing in this country that don't bite you. And if I was Fagin, I would let that life go. Because you have a chance to start new over here. And I don't want him to ruin it for Jack. Or himself. He's taking care of the patients. He has both of his hands. He paid off the debt. He's dying, isn't he? It's rough, but you guys made such a... Such an accomplishment. Hold his hand. And see him into the next life. I feel like when you did all that you could, yeah, the, the last thing you can do is just be there for them. But the point is you did all that you could, more than it, that has ever been done before at this point. So I feel like, I don't know. I feel like you still, it's still a, a successful thing in my opinion. For which we need the dodge. Who is this? I just need to win back the boy's favor. There's still a few old words. Oh, he's being a nasty, nasty old man. Make a move on the ogre. When I 
Sai. He's going by and he's back again. Why? Episode three. Okay, so I don't like Fagin. Don't trust him. I started liking him a little bit and I started even trusting him a little bit, but my mistake. My mistake, because nope. Nothing's gonna make me trust him now. I mean, I was a, the only reason why I was a little wary of him was that he kept trying to push Dodge to like do the wrong thing. What is she doing back here? Oh. Down. Do they not do autopsies yet? So they may not know the cause of death? Is she gonna perform an autopsy when she doesn't even know? What did you clean the morgue with? Carbolic acid. Okay, she figured out something, but I don't know what. Was that cleaning product like a bad thing? Was that part of what unalived him? Now she's gonna do some studying, some research. Well, no, there was one other. Wearing the red boots. Is that who we saw? Why didn't I say that? Because you were decrepit. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I'm gonna go with it. You need to find your own room, Fagan. I agree. Okay, she's looked through all the books and she still can't find what she's looking for. The governor needs a culprit to hang by tomorrow. Who are you? Oh my God, it's her shoes. Who the hell was that? Oh my God, we're making food. This is so fun. I love this POV. Ew, that sounds yucky. That's a way to tell someone, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Is it a fever? Here comes Princess Witchface. We don't call her that. We like her. Lock was on his wound and the infection's gone. Oh, that's the discovery that she made. The cleaning had carbolic acid on it. Look, no rot. It helped with the infection? Actually, and uh, there was a chap called Pasteur. Pasta? Pasta. Pasta. Who? Lister at Edinburgh Royal connected microbes to infection. Germs equals infection which causes diseases, which causes... Is there a translation of all of this? We can cure infection with carbolic acid. Listen to her, she knows what she's talking about. Up until now, she hasn't been wrong. She doesn't come to you with like, oh, I think this is right, and I'm, I, I, maybe this is true. No, she comes with facts. To see whether your cloth stopped the rot beneath the skin. Damn, he's giving her the honors. I've never cut a man before. Well, you can't hurt him any further. Do it, girl. I think this is an amazing opportunity for her to learn. They're having a moment a little bit. Somewhere in there is how we think. And die? Yep, pretty much. And he is upset, boy. Uh-oh, what is that? Sometimes pain can be curative. Did he just realize that his wife's a cheater? Who was here the night I was absent? Yeah, expose her. I don't like her. Ooh, she didn't kiss back, that was weird. Darius came to protect me. I can't tell if he believes her or not. Oh, thank God. You were so close to the truth. He is a, a true and faithful friend. Just like your wife is a true and faithful wife. Just remembered that the young guard said that Dr. Dawkins- Was she almost caught and she saved her just because he didn't want him to, her to, him to go close to the sheets? Was that what just happened over there? Lock down the hospital. We're going to take the doctor's confession. Are you kidding me? I knew that somehow Dawkins would get involved in this. No rot. Well, let's test it on Charlie. Her theory's right. I've read everything that exists on this. Trust me. No, except I don't. How can you not trust her after everything that you guys have been through? Find a way of making carbolic acid work without injuring him, then you can use it on Charlie. To be fair though, I kind of understand him. Sort of, milady. <laughs> I love this man. He does not treat her like she's anything special. Nuh uh. You're gonna get spoken to the way he wants to speak to you. But I understand him at the end of the day. He wants to treat him with this acid, but he wants further proof and he wants to make sure that it won't hurt him. So I actually respect that. But I also think that. Lady Belle has a point and I think it would work. Could I wear one of your arms? You could do whatever you want. Actually, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about that, I don't know. If it would burn my skin, I don't think so. A quiet word. Trouble with the prostate? <laughs> His face is like, uh, not quite. Do sit down, Doctor. What the hell do you want from me? That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Why do you have to go to the back of your throat? Um, many siblings. Only child. That's a good lie. Come on. Put it down, bro! So now are all three of them gonna know who had the gold? How are they gonna keep that a secret? <laughs> are they really going down that route? Is that gonna work? Can I bury him now, Tim? Wait, so he has to take him now with the gold? Because I know they put the gold with him, didn't they? Did you see if you want? Or not, where did they put the gold? You use your access as a doctor to bring a senile criminal with no medical training, past my arms, uh, while lacking the ability to supervise him. I mean, 
mean, this does look a little suspicious for you, I will admit, but he actually didn't steal anything in this instance. And you were inexplicably absent, leaving an insufficient guard and no commissioned officer on the night of a valuable ship. Right? Yeah, he's flipping it on you. You tried, but he could, he could flip it right back. The governor has ordered. Okay. He basically just told him, I'm issuing a so I gotta do something. Leave. The uncle. What's up? How many siblings does Dawkins have? Oh, is he gonna catch him in a lie? Only child, only child, come on. Lose track. <laughs> only child. Well, how about nine? You should know that he is an only child. That is very simple. Oh my God. He's just burying them in a huge lie. I told him I was an only child. All right, well, he's onto us. It's about time you understood that. I found the money. Okay, that's great, but that you found the money, but what, what good would that do for you? Go get it, we'll put it back, and then we can just make all this disappear. I agree with Dawkins here. Where? Near Tinkler. Huh? Buried the money. More specifically, in Tinkler, inside Tinkler. That is a new level of messed up. That is unfathomable. What in the world? I did not expect that. But the, the thing is, it makes sense because when they picked up the guy, I was like, where's the bag of gold? It's against me principles. But you're, okay, wait, wait, wait. He's against digging up the body, but he's not against shoving a bag of coins into the body. Worm rattled meat. Don't say that, don't you? I agree with him, respect the dead. But I mean, you didn't respect them when you shoved a bag of coins into them, so. I know I wasn't always a good dad. You abandoned me, remember? Yeah, you're not the dad. I lost my Agnes. Why didn't I know about that? So he had a little daughter that passed away? And the thought of someone disturbing her when I buried her. I feel like I understand, but why, why did you put the bag of coins there? Who in the right minds would do that? All right. She's really trying to prove that this works and I admire it. Oh, she's testing it on herself. Damn. Don't burn your skin, girl. That is really messed up. She just gave herself a huge burn. Why can't you just be normal? I mean, she's dedicated to figuring out the solution. Ah, spraying it. Lucien can see things a thousand memories. Why can't you stop cheating? She's a serial cheater. Ever suspected of me. I hope he catches you. Um, I'm uncomfortable. Pray with me. Oh, yes. This is so weird. Oh, Lucy. Oh. You surprised us. Why are they playing him like this? I'm not saying the man doesn't deserve some stuff too, but like... And the young Surgeon Dawkins is a vexation I can't seem to crush. So he's desperate to crush Dawkins, but he's just not succeeding, and that's making him angrier? Which is more funny for us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, step on up. Step on up to this crazy love. Ooh. There is five pounds winnings to knock him out. They want to give him five pounds to knock him out? Bring me the doctor. Why the doctor? Run away, Dawkins. Run away. Lady Bell, please, let me escort you. Yeah, he got away. I've had a breakthrough with the acid. Well, clearly, look, your dress is dissolving. Let's ignore the fact that she did that because she actually did figure out a breakthrough with the perfume spray bottle. Sorry, it's so right. Oh, I don't see how else you'd fix it. I like that. I really did. There is obvious tension there. Contestant on Charlie when it's ready. I trust you. She gained his trust. Oh, girl, 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 girl. Let me see your neck. Nothing happened. Didn't burn. Oh, <laughs> she's cute. I'll find out where Tinker's buried, and then we'll scarf her. I feel like this plan kind of sucks, but I don't know what other choice they have right now. Doctor Jack! He did not sign up for this. I would just back away and say, uh-uh, absolutely not. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm just here to watch. He also needs his hands. He's a surgeon. I put my name down first. I'm next. Oh, he's going to crush him. Oh, you guys are just not the same size. I'm, re I'm rooting for the little guy, but I, I don't see it working. They helped him win! That's so awesome! I mean, it sucks for them because they needed an answer from the guy, but amazing for the little guy because he won. And I really didn't think he would because the weight distribu- the weight, uh, difference was just unfair. But it's because of them he that he won. It's Jack. Answer the door. Window? <laughs> Show me this, um, sewage acid of yours. This is so cool. <laughs> This is so cool. There you are. Where have you been? Charlie. Oh, she also sprayed it on Charlie. That's such good news. Okay, I can't show any of this, but it does look cool. Is he dead yet? Why would you ask that during the start of the surgery? You're missing a piece of your skull. Just feeling a bit of ear on it. 
Oh, that must feel so weird. You and me, we're square, Doc. You need anything, you just ask. That is so awesome. South corner, third from the left. There you go. That's good that he's making amends with everybody. It's really good to have a lot of people on your side, especially in situations like this. Well, not, not exactly like this, but I mean like where you need people to have your back. Why would anyone put an iron cage around their coffin? I need a small charge. So he has something that could blow it up, and now she's taking care of him. He's okay. I get something to eat. Oh, thank God. It works. It's clearing the infection. It's just a bottle or something, miss. It's my lady. Yes. That is so awesome. You know that when their appetite is back, you know that they're good. Hurry up, flashbang. The whole world will be up soon. Is it going to be a huge boom? I mean, where's the booze in heaven? I think you should be checking the menu at the other place. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. She used to lay a little head on her daddy's lap. That's really precious. Thing is, I'm finding hard to think of anything genuine with this guy because he's going, he's literally trying to screw over Dawkins. So I feel like we can't fully trust him. So like, yeah, this is sweet and all, but I don't trust you, which takes away a little bit of the genuinity of it all. I spent four hours digging a hole you wouldn't touch because of a dog. Agnes, Agnes was, was a, a dog? dog? I said she was human. <laughs> That is so disgusting. That is nasty. Strip and tie up. Who the hell are you? Okay, so that was actually really interesting. I cannot wait to understand and learn more about this because now I understand that there's so many other people at play here than just Dawkins, Lady Bell, and Fagin, and like the weird guy that his wife's cheating on him or whatever. There's so many more people. There's now a person that's with Fagin trying to screw over Dawkins, and now there's this girl that was a pretend maid that stole coins, and now she's at the grave and she's like, give me all the money. The point is I'm excited. I think Lady Bell is doing an amazing job. She is discovering so much. She's helping Dawkins make such improvements in the surgery field altogether. I'm also noticing in some of the scenes that they're having a lot of cute little moments, which makes me excited. That's like might happen between them and I hope it does. So the point is that I'm super excited to continue the show. I cannot wait to see where it goes. If you guys have watched it, go ahead and let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below, but make sure no spoilers, of course, not until we get to the end. I would love to also hear what you guys think about Fagin because I'm not sure how I feel about him. I don't like that he's kind of backstabbing a little bit, but at the same time, he could seem kind of genuine and really helpful, but I feel like he's just faking all of it just to get on Dawkins' good side which makes me not like him again. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure to subscribe because we're currently on that goal of trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. This is me. See ya.